Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers tutorial video. This time we're still on the drones. We're still checking this stuff out. I decided, you know, I'd do some in-depth videos uh, talking about just about every single facet of the drones. All the basic stuff so you guys will learn how the blocks work and be able to just jump right in and do it. So this will be in a series of videos and I'm eventually going to make it to a playlist for y'all. But anyway, today what we're going to learn, last time we figured out how to make a drone that would just simply follow us and had a turret. But sometimes you're probably going to want something that's a little more proactive, we will say. <laughs> something that will charge in there, deal with a problem, and just beat the crap out of it. And we'll directly engage, do some tactics. Right now, what we had before was a drone that would fly next to you and then it would shoot and do little other than that it would stay with you and fight this time we're going to build something that can actually engage that can actually turn around fight targets and do what it has to do so without further ado let's get started so first thing we're going to do is you're going to see that i have the system completely turned off at the moment all of our movement everything is basically staying the same from the previous tutorial if you want to go go back and watch that if you haven't but in this tutorial however we're going to be using the combat block now the combat ai is one of those blocks that it really does not matter which way you put it up there is no right or left to it that i can tell <laughs> normally what i do is i just push the signal. Now it does have an arrow here at the bottom. I guess if you want, you could point that forward and then probably be the best way to do it. <clears throat> I just remember it by putting the signal up front. We're going to connect this block in and we're going to add our antenna back a second time because this is how we maintain our unit. And for that, instead of putting on something oh so fun, Let's try to put some stuff on there that's really good. Now, when making weaponized drones that have their own guns that they will aim, you really need to consider what type of weapons you're putting on and where you're putting them on. Um, I would not suggest putting <clears throat> a whole bristling of different weapons, like a bunch of Gatlin guns, a couple of auto cannons, and some missile launchers. I'd suggest picking a weapon that you want to use and using it. Uh, so what we have here is we've got the good old assault cannon. Should we use that or the good old rocket launcher? Let's just put on the good old rocket launcher here. And we're going to add a few of these on here. <clears throat> let's let's make one of the meanest rocket launcher drones out there because we'll probably hit this thing against something like I don't know the Rosinante or something like that. <laughs> right, there we go. We've got four quad missile launchers on this bad boy. <clears throat> now. With all this said and done, we've got all the missile launchers we need. Could we add a few more guns? Eh, possibly we could add more guns, but we're not going to need them. <clears throat> now, one of the things I will tell you is if you're working on drones, the easiest way to work on them is with a remote control block. And y'all note I have put a remote control block on this already. I will tell you the remote control block makes this a lot easier. Uh, for one reason... If you are trying to control your drone and it does not want to cooperate with you at all <laughs> because one of the things when you turn on the follow system let me show you what that looks like real quick if you don't have the remote access to a drone like this and you turn the thing on and I try to get back here to something like a, a box or something it's going to move on me constantly I cannot get behind it because the follow program on here wants to stay with me so that's why I always put a remote control block on these drones because at that point I can take control and I can turn everything off and you can also access all of your systems here so for combat <coughs> it says here air it has no grid has no uh, move type block please add and or enable a move type block we're going to solve that here in a minute uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have it target now this is this is the difference between a really good drone and a drone that eh, doesn't do what it should do 
and that is this here, target search interval. If you have this thing set to standard, when it engages, this determines how long it takes for it to reacquire a target. If you set it to 30 seconds, this thing will fire at something for about a half a minute before it turns and fires in something else. And this is a problem I had with drones when I would shoot with them. Uh, the drones would just constantly lob ammunition at a target, but not at one time would the drones turn or engage or fight something else. So what I would say is if you want a really high-speed reactionary drone that reacts very quickly and keeps on target, I'm going to put that down to like five seconds. So every five seconds, this thing is going to turn around and attack something. Uh, we're not going to tell it what systems to attack. <clears throat> We've got all these different systems. This is circle orbit. It'll just go into an orbital pattern, and it'll just kind of move and stay in. This is great with like a bunch of drones coming in all at once, and you can just concentrate fire. Stay at range. You basically will set the minimum and maximum distance of when it will engage and when it will break off. Uh, the one I prefer is hit and run. Uh, we're not going to talk about intercept because intercept is how you make a missile, and I'll show you all how to make a missile later. But hit and run is the one that we want to use. So with this, you have break off distance, retreat distance, retreat timeout, and retreat angle. So break off distance is the distance to the target in which the drone will break. In other words, this is how far it will go. You can set this with, uh, if you're fighting... Uh, NPCs like in vanilla. This is really good if you put long range guns onto the drone, something like rail guns, or if you were to put an assault cannon on it and have it fire at a distance, you could get to about a eh, minimum range uh, so somewhere outside of the Gatling gun range and then boop, pop something when it gets close. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to set this down to like 300 here. We're going to do that. Man, about... Oh, I'm bad. You can do better than this. Let's just do this. Sometimes I just get lazy. And it's just better to do it the right way. Now, <clears throat> we're going to set this to 300 meters because we want this thing to get in close and, you know, kind of... Because you want your... And it, this is something that I would say do with your drones. Your hit-and-run drones are the ones that you don't want to get hit. But if you do send in a drone that you would want to put at like stay at range or circle orbit you would want a drone that goes in there with maybe something like a decoy block on it because then that will draw that will draw out fire so the hit and run units can move in and engage but we're going to stay on hit and run at the moment <clears throat> break off distance is at 300 meters so it doesn't run into the target now retreat distance is how far it's going to run away about uh, we don't need to be exactly that. So depending on the target you're going to be going after, if we were building this thing to attack vanilla NPCs, most of the vanilla NPCs do not have stuff like assault cannons, artillery cannons, or rail guns. It doesn't have that stuff. And mostly you're going to be running into our missiles and Gatling guns. Max range on those is about 800 meters. So we can probably just set this to like 900, giving our drone enough time to get away. Retreat timeout. Uh, let's see. I forgot how this thing works. The time this grid should take to attempt to reach its distance. In other words, it, it should try to reach 900 meters at 30 seconds. If it doesn't, it'll try to re-engage the target regardless of how far away it is. So this just gives it how much time it's going to take. So about half a minute for it to get to its outside range and then come back. And then this is retreat angle. Uh, this is important if you are in... <clears throat> this is very important if you're in an atmosphere. But since we're in space, it's not that important. Now at the bottom here, we have our available weapons. This is similar to the turret control block. Just shift and click. Add all the weapons you want. And now we're going to add... AI behavior is on. This thing says it has no move block. And now the reason why we still have this error is because I have the AI flight move and the AI basic task are completely off at the moment. So it doesn't detect this. So you can now turn on the behavior. The drone just won't take off and go kill something. It will wait a few minutes until you're ready to operate it. Now to turn the whole system on, we go back to, oh wait, no, I'm actually in control. So then we turn both these systems on. 
like so. And we're also going to take our new offense maneuver. I'm going to put that on there and toggle that on and off. You could also set this up here. And I just want to show this off real quick. That you can actually do this with any of the AI blocks. You can set target weapons, target propulsion, target power systems. Uh, the reason why I like to put the remote control block in there is you can just grab one of them and just tell it to target something completely different. Uh, you could set it to attack the smallest targets, the closest, uh, all this stuff. <clears throat> you can also increase its minimum, <laughs> it do its evasive maneuvers, front, backwards, left, on and off, all this all this stuff right in here you can do. You can mess around with it. You can also override the collision avoidance. But anyway, we're not going to mess with that stuff here. What we have now is a drone that, if it is done correctly, should be moving. Uh, why are we not moving? Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to run back here. And here comes the drone. So now we have a drone that will follow us. And if necessary, it will kill whatever we tell it to. So to check that out for just a moment, to show you right now, you can see the drone will follow. The drone's now turning, it's following, it's it's maintaining speed with me. And it's moving a little slow. But it, it will get where, from point to point B. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to hop back into the control panel here. I'm going to take control. And I'm going to disable, you probably don't have to disable all of them, but I'm doing it anyway just so that something doesn't activate. We're going to leave this little drone right over here. And we're going to pull out here. To about 2,000 meters. I want to get as far away from this thing as possible. For just the moment. I'm going to set up a battery target. There we go. Number six. And R. Now, this is just what I like to do. Waste of batteries, I know. But it's still fun to do. <coughs> So now we're going to shift and click. We're going to transfer the block to Space Pirates. And now we're going to head back to our original drum real quick. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the system on so that it follows. Now, one of two things are going to happen. The drone is either going to follow me or the drone is going to detect the boxes back there and it's going to move in and engage. Now, the cool part about this is, with the AI, is everything is automatic. I don't have to set up an action for the drone to not do anything. I think I just lost my target. <laughs> oh, crap. Huh. <laughs> I don't see it. Well, we're about to find out if this thing knows where it's at or not. Okay, we'll either find it or we won't. Now, remote access. Take control. Yep, it knows where it's at. So we're just going to follow it in here. Oh, it is it is motoring now. Alright, buddy. Go find it. It's after something fierce now. See, it detects the space pirates. There we go. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Now, once it is done destroying that block, it should return back to me. It's, it's already at maximum range, so if I just wait... See, now it's it's reached its maximum range. It is now retreating like it's supposed to. It should retreat out to about a 1,000 meters. And you see how fast it moves. It moves really quickly. And here's the thing. These things are like ships, basically. You just got to put a... <clears throat> system on see it hits a th over a thousand meters little overshot about 1.30 it is turned around now and here it comes again for a second pass and that's the thing about these drones they're very easy to operate keen is in a very good job with the plug and, plug and play system and when operating the beta i learned a lot about how to operate these things and 
this here, you have a multifunction drone. You now have a guardian drone that can fly with your ship. Ooh, yeah. I'm afraid to just run right up on it. Looks like it has completely destroyed that. And it looks like the target is done. Now, here it comes back. And you can see now the follow function, I believe, it has taken back over. Our drone has moved in and destroyed, so now you can have a, a crap load of these things. See, here it comes. It's, it's running right up to us like a lost puppy. <sighs> build, build a friend. That's what this is. It, it's Build-A-Bear. You've heard of Build-A-Bear? Well, we have Build-A-Drone. <laughs> Build-A-Drone has a crap ton of firepower. But you can load all, all kinds of fun stuff to this. I believe even... Uh, other weapons will work. See, it, it got to the minimum distance that it was supposed to, that we had in the last video. And now our drone is just run back over to us. You can you can literally take these things too. Just show you something right here. We'll just toss a few of these bad boys in here. And these these will all pretty much do the same. Now watch this. You you pull back. Eh, there's a little bit of bumping right now because I got them so close to each other. I may not have collision turned off. But now you've got a small squadron of fighters. The only the only gripe I have about this is I wish I could somehow get these things to fly in formation because that would just be awesome. <laughs> For, figure out the distances you want them at. Figure out where you want them at in, in conjunction to where you are. But now you've got all these interesting little drones, which I, I could actually reset the distance <clears throat> on these things to where they are actually further apart. Uh, to do that, you would just go into remote access, take control of a drone. And I believe one of these... One of these usually has, like, a distance. See, he's got collision avoidance on. See, last time I played with this, they had some sort of deal on there that would determine what distance it would be apart from everything. But you can see right there, we, we have control of these things, and just to show you, I I can just... Let's see, we'll just grab one of them here. Take control. Oh, look, we took control of one. Let's grab hold of the camera here. We can pull him back and let him look around. See all our little drones there, and our little guy sitting there looking at the drones, telling them what to do. I believe. Oh no, I don't have rockets set up to this for finger control. That's another thing. But yeah, see, we have a drone now that not only can you personally take control, but you can literally have this thing attacking a target, and you can let's let's take him out a little bit. Let's take him out some distance here. I don't want to go too far because I'll lose lock. Okay, he's not activating right now. <clears throat> Must not have him at a good enough distance. Let's... Ah, see, there he is. He's just sitting there looking at us right now like, well, why'd you send me away, master? Ah, here he comes, like a lost puppy. But yeah, like I said, this now gives you the ability to have a drone that you can grab onto. Uh, and this is useful because if you're flying and you've got a couple drones flying with you, and you've got a friend of yours that's inside, and say the drones are just, because the AI is limited, say the drones are you know just kind of limited, not doing what they should do, you can... <clears throat> actually just take control of a drone and just go flying in there like a like a player character turn one of the drones into a player character and then start using its disposable this disposable fighter you can fly with while you've got these other fighters you can also set these things up to fly with you i'm kind of thinking about a a rocket drone that flies with me <coughs> and shoots missiles <laughs> at targets on the ground uh, that that in my opinion would be pretty cool but yeah, like I said, you can have a bunch of these things out here, and they're just they're nightmarish in a groove. By the way, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, hope you guys learned something from this. 
and have a gr and have like some ideas because I want to see what you guys build. Uh, don't forget in the Discord, head on into the Discord, show me what you guys are building, and show me how uh, what you guys are building and what cool stuff you're making. Uh, like I said, this is not how I would build the drone. This is just all the framework, all the necessary parts I would put on a drone. And uh, hopefully you guys can make something really cool with this. And like I said, I'll be turning out more of these videos. I'll be showing you all the defensive AI systems, helping you have a drone that will retreat. So if you build a cargo drone, for instance, uh, that'll be able to retreat really easily. Uh, it'll, it'll have this thing where it will basically run away if it's under attack. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, folks, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed these little test drones that I've had out here. And uh, like I said, show me what kind of drones you guys are making in the Discord. Uh, that would be the Late Nighters. Link is in the description. Anyone can join up. And uh, the only thing we want from y'all is just to see what creations you guys are building and see what you guys are doing, how much fun you're having with this game. Anyway, <clears throat> as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, stay frosty, enjoy the drones, don't have a Skynet situation because these things are quite terrifying. And as always, I am Badger Wild, signing out.